Hello, Carly here from Carly Says. So I have not done a video for a little while. I went away um, to a friend's party and I did one then and that was about day 25 and then 26, 27, 28, 29. So today's the 31st, I think, the 30th. So technically today was my last day. Oh, what's today? Wednesday. Sorry. So yesterday was the last day. Today's the 31st. And oh, I've, I've not followed it properly the last few days. But as I've said before, I'm not stressed about following it 100%. Um, I was still, you know, I was trying to focus on the wins. Like I'd had 30 days of no chocolate, no chips, no biscuits, no ice cream, no beautiful camembert cheese, you know, like 30 days of mostly eating great stuff with a few little blights of, you know, honey and a dressing and that type of thing. But now I'm really stuck. So I'm at the end and I'm like, well, I don't have to do whole 30 anymore. But I didn't want, and like I promised myself, I wasn't going to come racing off it and just eat all the things, which I have not done. But Crap is slowly creeping back in, and and I and I I feel like this massive resistance to doing the reintroduction. It's ridiculous. It's like why don't I want to do it? Why am I not full steam ahead on the reintroduction when that was the whole point? The whole point of the whole thing is to figure out what you are sensitive to, and and I downloaded the book like a week and a half ago onto my phone. And I've always got my phone in the hand, in my hand, and I couldn't find, I couldn't find a spare minute to start reading it. It's like this massive thing going on, and I cannot. Part of the reason why I love these vlogs is that sometimes for me to process stuff, I need to talk it through, and often I'll just be, you know, like on the phone to my husband, going little 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 little, and then I'll be like, right, yes, that's the answer, good, yes, thank you for your help, <laughs> and he's not said anything. So I'm kind of doing that with you guys. Um, so I would love to know if anyone else has had this. But basically, I'm finished. I've had a win. It's not been a perfect whole 30. And, and I'm giving no fucks about that. Like, it actually, I feel like the black and whiteness of the approach to whole 30 is to its own detriment. It doesn't work for everybody. And it's not realistic sometimes when it comes to real life. And people get caught up in it. Like there's a post on one of the forums that I'm um, – or groups I'm in in Facebook and the person comes on and says, um, so I am done my whole 30 and I'm going to weigh myself. Excuse me. I'm going to weigh myself and then I'll start again straight away. So is that a whole – is that like round two, day one, or is that like – I'm doing a whole 60 and I'm like t t it doesn't fucking matter it'll be 60 days of you following and eating not following the rules because you're not meant to weigh yourself but is that it's not important when it comes to if that works for you if that keeps you motivated if that's a check-in I, I and I understand what their thinking was that they want to try and break the thinking of it being a weight loss program and it's more of a eating sensitivity so that ongoing you can be healthy and free of any food hang-ups and limiting the scales is part of that but I feel like it should be fuck the scales off like just don't have scales have some other form well you know what we all have a form clothes everybody knows if their clothes are a little bit tight or a little bit loose they know if their clothes are too big you really don't need to know your number, but we are, as a people, fucking obsessed with that number. I know, you know, I can remember weighing 50 kilos, which is like about 100 pounds, and and having a massive crappy lunch and weighing myself after the lunch, and I weighed 52, that's it. I was like so stuffed I could hardly move, but obviously I'd put on a bit of weight since the last time I'd weighed myself, and I was devastated. I just need to get down to 49. Like that's six pounds, no one was noticing any difference. 
It was the most ridiculous thing. And I wish I'd verbalised that to someone. I was only young. I wish I'd verbalised that to someone and they shut me down on it. Like that they called me on it. Like that's a fucking waste of energy. You're gorgeous. Don't get, don't even get on those scales again. You don't need to worry about it. And I feel like if Health 30 was serious, that, that would be the case. Just, you know what, we should start a, a, a revolution of people that no longer weigh themselves, that they no longer care. Because do you know what, I, I, I think I'm up in my feed that it's something like one in three women, seven, at least once a week, one in, or seven out of ten it is, seven out of ten women at least once a week have negative thoughts about themselves. They're too fat, too short, too tall, too old, too wrinkly, not enough boobs, too big of boobs. Seven out of ten once a week. Now, I, that, that's what we should be focusing on, not bloody the number on the scale. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent there. <laughs> but so I'm flipping and I'm flopping and I'm and I, I haven't done my reintroduction and I'm trying to work towards it because I that's the goal but I'm also trying not to beat myself up because I I have mentioned on here I have high highs and low lows and so I, at the moment I'm in a low low and so that I, by that I mean my moods so at the moment I'm sort of in a low I'm a bit puffed because I had a massive few days last week and I'm trying to be kind to myself about not starting the reintroduction and not doing a million and one things and it's okay. So I would love to hear, this is probably not the type of video, it's not, probably not that <laughs> inspirational, but I'm hoping that someone will be able to relate to it and go, yes, that's what happened to me. I didn't, I come off and, you know, and I, I think I've lost weight. I, I think I've lost about 10 pounds, which is great. I'm, feel, I'm feeling myself, mostly. Um, but uh, like, that's not, that was never the, the, the whole plan, you know, that was never the, the, the main thing. So yeah, I would love to know if anybody else has felt like this, if they've struggled and you know, how they're going, what their reintroduction looked like. And I need, and I started reading food freedom forever and the first page sort of had me hooked. I started reading it today. And she talked about um, she didn't eat a cupcake and not because she was like being disciplined or being good or being anything else. But for her, they didn't have the one she wanted. She didn't really feel like it. So she walked away and in her world, cupcakes were a big deal, which that I find intriguing because there are times when I eat, even when I don't want to eat it because I have to eat it. <laughs> so, and also I had Easter eggs today. <laughs> When I say I had Easter eggs, I had a whole bag. <laughs> like, I'm sort of hanging my head in a little bit of shame. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, <laughs> I, it, it's it's almost February. So had I not been doing the whole 30, that would have happened on the 1st of January <laughs> when they were first in the shops. But I had also braced myself for the cost of them as well. So anyway, I won't be doing it all the time. And I have made a few good choices but it's hard. It, 30 days is not probably long enough for me, but I'm over how restrictive it is. So I need to sort of find that balance. So Anyway, I'm going to keep doing the videos to let you know how I'm going. So it'll be Whole30 plus reintroduction plus fallen off the bandwagon, just footage of me eating everything. Um, let me know how you're going. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.